Right, so this is Grumble uh, 101 ambulance converted into a camper. And on a day like this, it's just nice to have the, the roof hatch open. Um, this all converts into a double bed and then we just used to use a blow-up mattress or a futon. Um, there is a double mattress that can go with it. That board there goes uh, across the back so you can close the back doors with the steps down. Gives you a bit of extra space at night. But this, I thought, I was quite proud of this actually. It just undoes. And with that, it just pulls out. Angle fridge, the kitchen unit lifts out. So this all, um, could do with a bit of a polish actually, but uh, this lifts out as does the angle fridge if you want to go throwing, serious throwing. Inside here is a water tank and inside here is your gas tank for the hob. Um, none of that has been used for about 10 years so it's probably worth giving it all a flush through and checking all the connections and joints etc up here these are the stretcher carriers that would have been the stretcher carriers we put an extra little bit of storage in there's a couple of fold up tables a couple of fold up chairs uh, some little fleecelets purple obviously to match everything else um, same on the other side, a couple of fold up tables, a couple of fold up chairs, fleecelets. Um, there is a hookup for 240 volt. There's four speaker sound system, although I've lost the front panel for the, um, you know, the what do you call it? The, you know, the radio cassette thing. So it's not radio cassette, it's an MP3, and it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, what else? Loads of storage underneath all here. Um, I'll cut in the video now of the engine. So this is a 4.6 Rover V8. It's got electronic ignition and it has a LPG kit that automatically switches over. It's on SU carburetors, uh, which are pinned for 4.6. We gave it a good uh, thorough overhaul, cleaned all the carbs out. Um, put a new water pump on, all that sort of thing. You'll notice this is the um, gear lever uh, mounting, but of course this is automatic, it's got ZF4 speed automatic gearbox. And a Piper 285 camshaft Fernier duplexing unit and a Rimmer Brothers large bore stainless steel exhaust. And the beautiful thing about this little vehicle is it starts on the key pretty much every time when there's petrol in it. Whew. Those who've had a 101 will know being on sat on top of the engine really is uncomfortable on a hot summer's day. So we have, uh, I've started putting it in, I just, uh, I didn't, didn't finish it off because we got onto, onto boats. Um, so I took the ceiling panels down. This is a Kirsten Cool Jet 101. It's one of those freezer units that you put in vans and it keeps your burgers frozen. Um, it's a, a really high quality unit, sits on top. If you didn't want it, you can just take this out and put, I would put a sunroof in there, a lift up sunroof, um, if I was gonna take this out. But this will, this will cool the inside down to minus five should you so want to. So that's the engine and the cooling, or potential cooling. If you're going through Africa, I would definitely connect all that up if I was going through Africa. So that was the engine. And uh, this is us testing the brakes. We now have what looks like functioning brakes. 
oh, definitely functioning brakes. <laughs> yeah. Good. I think that stops. And uh, yeah, it's um, I put a little list up at the end of all Grumble's various different modifications. The important ones are for um, accessibility because I have severe arthritis. It has power steering and a four-speed ZF auto box. So. None of that switching between third and fourth, which is the notorious pain in the ass thing for a 101. Uh, this lifts up underneath here is a shower in there, which then comes up and clips onto the door for outdoor showering. Uh, if you're in the middle of nowhere, it doesn't matter. Um, these are custom made rims from Matt Lee. And at the moment they've got Interco Super Swamper tires on there. Uh, what else? Oh, probably loads of things. LPG, 110 litre LPG tank down there. The fillers behind this panel. And then there's a 180 litre stainless steel. And this was made by Dunsfold. It, so it looks the same pretty much, uh, as near as damn it, as the, um, the normal uh, 101. Um, fuel tank. So 240 volt hookup or 220 volt hookup really depending on where you are. Mains hookup. Power steering, automatic, blah blah. But it's had a, uh, well, I'll put a list of all the various different things. We've just replaced the master cylinder, all the brake shoes, all the slave cylinders, all the hoses. Uh, because it's been sat for a while, don't like brakes sitting for a while, put a new indicator stalk on there because someone might have broke it with their leg. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Yeah, you want to have a look. Oh, it's got Exmoor trim replacement seats as well, so you don't get too hot and sticky. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Two new batteries, have I mentioned that? Oh, it's got a Kirsten a Cool Jet 101. That's a, for a freezer van. Because if you're, if you're driving this in the summer, you're right, remember, sat on top of the engine. Haven't finished putting that in. It'll probably take you a couple of days to put some hoses down, put a compressor on and things and probably cost you a couple of hundred quid, but you know, it's probably worth doing. Uh, we haven't got around to doing it because I usually drive it with that roof hatch open or bring the roof hatch in. Large uh, roof storage box on the top. There's load rails up there and checker plate. Yeah, that's grumble. Um, so I shall, without further ado, wander over and do the sort of like the thumbnail it's not really a thumbnail um, this is this is where I will now put a list of all of the various things that we have done to this beautiful little 101 oh by the way it's registered with DVLA a is a historic vehicle and B is a motor caravan so you get better insurance deals it's a motor caravan and it's tax and MOT exempt however I would always suggest as with any vehicle of this age, get it MOT'd anyway. Uh, but it is MOT exempt. Right, get the list up. Thanks for watching.